Imagine sipping your way to lower blood pressure, not popping another pill, not sitting in a waiting room for hours, but simply pouring a glass, lifting it to your lips, and letting nature do the work. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, what if I told you that science has already discovered that a few natural drinks, yes, everyday beverages, can actually help lower blood pressure safely, effectively, and without side effects for most people? Stay with me because in this video I'll reveal the one drink that truly stands out, backed by strong science, tested in clinical trials, and trusted even by doctors and nurses. But before we get there, we need to understand why this is so important, because high blood pressure is often called the silent killer. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to make YouTube algorithm recommend this video to health enthusiasts like you. Here's a shocking fact. Nearly one in three adults worldwide struggles with high blood pressure, and most don't even know it. It creeps up silently, without symptoms, until one day it leads to a stroke, a heart attack, or kidney damage. It doesn't discriminate young, old, men, women, fit, or, or overweight. It can touch anyone. Now, I'm not saying that natural drinks replace your doctor's advice or your medications. Absolutely not. But here's what's fascinating. Research shows that small daily choices, like what you drink in the morning, can make a measurable difference in your blood pressure levels. Imagine that, a habit so simple, yet so powerful. So the big question is, what should you be drinking to protect your heart and arteries? Let's dive into the first contender. If you've ever cut into a beetroot, you know how it stains everything bright red. But did you know that those vibrant pigments are loaded with compounds that can change the way your blood flows? Beetroot is rich in dietary nitrates. When you drink beetroot juice, your body converts those nitrates into nitric oxide, a molecule that relaxes and widens your blood vessels. Think of nitric oxide as nature's way of telling your arteries. Hey, loosen up, let the blood flow smoothly. This reduces the pressure on your heart and lowers your blood pressure. And this isn't just theory. A landmark study published in the Hypertension Journal showed that just one glass of beetroot juice could lower systolic blood pressure, the top number, by up to 10 mmHg within hours. That's almost as much as some first-line medications. So why is beetroot juice so effective? It's all about improving endothelial function. That's the inner lining of your blood vessels. When your endothelium is healthy, it helps control blood pressure, blood clotting, and inflammation. But when it's damaged by smoking, poor diet, stress, or aging, it stiffens up and your blood pressure rises. Nitric oxide from beetroot helps restore that flexibility. Imagine your arteries going from rigid pipes to smooth, elastic hoses. It makes circulation so much easier. And here's the kicker. Beetroot isn't just good for blood pressure. It also enhances athletic performance. Elite athletes drink beet juice before competitions to improve oxygen delivery and stamina. So whether you're a senior trying to keep your heart healthy or someone who just wants more energy during the day, this one drink pulls double duty. Now, you may be wondering, how do I actually use beetroot juice? Studies show that about 250 ml, one cup of beetroot juice daily is enough to see a benefit. You can drink it straight, or if the earthy taste isn't your favorite, mix it with apple or carrot juice. For the best results, drink it in the morning. That way your blood vessels stay relaxed throughout the day. But here's a word of caution, beetroot juice isn't for everyone. If you have kidney stones, especially oxalate stones, or if you're on blood pressure medication, check with your doctor before making it a daily habit. Too much of a good thing can sometimes be harmful. So beetroot juice is a strong contender. It's backed by solid science, delivers measurable results, and has been used for centuries as a natural tonic. But is it the one drink that outshines all others? Not so fast. Because the next drink on our list has been consumed for thousands of years, not just for health, but also for relaxation and longevity. And some studies suggest it might be even more powerful for long-term heart protection. Curious? Let's move on to drink number two, green tea. If beetroot juice works like a natural plumbing solution for your arteries, green tea works like a guardian angel for your blood vessels. 
This isn't just your average tea bag. Inside those green leaves are catechins, a type of antioxidant that has fascinated researchers for decades. One of the most famous catechins is EGCG, epigallocatechin galate. This compound helps reduce inflammation, improve blood vessel flexibility, and even enhance fat metabolism. In other words, it helps your body run more smoothly at the cellular level. And when it comes to blood pressure, several studies, including one in the British Journal of Nutrition, show that people who drink green tea regularly have significantly lower risk of developing hypertension. So how does a simple cup of green tea help your blood pressure? Think of your arteries as highways. Over time, bad cholesterol, stress hormones, and inflammation create traffic jams. Green tea catechines act like traffic police, keeping everything moving, preventing clogs, and relaxing the tension in your artery walls. Another interesting point, green tea improves endothelial function, just like beetroot juice, but in a different way. Instead of nitric oxide production, it reduces oxidative stress, which means it fights off free radicals that damage your blood vessels. But wait, there's more. Green tea doesn't just lower blood pressure. It also reduces LDL bad cholesterol, boosts brain function, thanks to caffeine plus L-theanine combo, aids weight management, and even lowers the risk of certain cancers. This is why countries like Japan, where green tea drinking is a daily tradition, have some of the lowest rates of heart disease in the world. So how do you get the most out of green tea? Drink two, three cups daily for heart benefits. Brew it for two, three minutes only. Longer steeping can make it bitter. Avoid adding too much sugar. If you need sweetness, try a drizzle of honey. And here's a pro tip. Don't pour boiling water directly onto green tea leaves. Let it cool slightly first. Too much heat can destroy delicate antioxidants. One more thing. If you're sensitive to caffeine, drink your last cup before 3 p.m. to avoid sleep problems. So far, we've explored beetroot juice and green tea, two champions backed by science. But we still haven't talked about one of the most underrated, colorful, and delicious drinks, hibiscus tea. This next drink has been used in traditional medicine for centuries, and modern studies confirm it doesn't just taste refreshing, it lowers blood pressure in a way that rivals some medications. If beetroot juice is the earthy powerhouse and green tea is the guardian, then hibiscus tea is the floral warrior. Made from the dried petals of the hibiscus flower, this ruby red tea is packed with anthocyanins and flavonoids. These compounds are potent antioxidants that help relax blood vessels, reduce inflammation, and lower cholesterol. But here's where it gets really interesting. Multiple clinical trials have shown that drinking hibiscus tea daily can lower systolic blood pressure by 7 to 10 mmHg. Hg. That's very close to what many prescription drugs achieve. In fact, the Journal of Nutrition published a study showing that people who drank hibiscus dia for just six weeks had significantly lower blood pressure compared to those who didn't. Hibiscus acts as a natural ACE inhibitor. If you've heard of blood pressure medications like lisinopril or enalapril, those are ACE inhibitors too. They work by blocking a hormone that tightens blood vessels. Hibiscus does something similar, naturally, without the pharmaceutical side effects. It's almost like nature created its own blood pressure medication and disguised it as a refreshing tea. So how do you enjoy hibiscus tea? Steep one, two teaspoons of dried hibiscus petals in hot water for about five to 10 minutes. You can drink it hot or iced. Add lemon or cinnamon for extra flavor. Drink one to two cups per day for best results. But here's a caution. Hibiscus tea can interact with certain medications, especially diuretics and ACE inhibitors. If you're already on blood pressure meds, talk to your doctor first. Let's pause for a moment and recap. Beetroot juice boosts nitric oxide, relaxing arteries. Green tea reduces oxidative stress and inflammation. Hibiscus tea works like a natural ACE inhibitor. All three are powerful, proven, and natural. But which one is the one drink that lowers blood pressure naturally and stands above the rest? We'll reveal that soon. But first, let's bust some common myths and misconceptions about these drinks, because you've probably heard a few, and it's time to set the record straight. 
Before we crown the champion, let's clear the air. There are so many myths surrounding these natural drinks. Myth number one, beetroot juice only works for athletes, not everyday people. Fact, while athletes use it for stamina, studies show it lowers blood pressure in anyone, especially those with hypertension. Myth number two, green tea must be super strong or concentrated to be effective. Fact, even two, three cups daily of regular brewed green tea can make a measurable difference over time. Myth number three, hibiscus tea is just a trendy herbal tea, not real medicine. Fact, clinical trials prove hibiscus tea can lower blood pressure almost like prescription drugs. So don't let misinformation stop you from using what works. Now, here's something crucial. Just because these are natural doesn't mean they're for everyone. Beetroot juice can stain urine pink, harmless, but it may increase kidney stone risk in some people. Green tea has caffeine. Too much can cause jitters or insomnia. Hibiscus tea may lower blood pressure too much if combined with medications, and it's not recommended during pregnancy. The key is moderation, and when in doubt, talk to your healthcare provider. Here's where it gets exciting. These drinks are powerful, but they work best when combined with healthy habits. Start your day with hydration, a glass of water, then your drink of choice. Add light exercise, a morning walk or stretching helps your blood vessels stay flexible. Focus on a heart-healthy breakfast, like oats, berries, and nuts, which complement these drinks beautifully. Practice mindful breathing. Stress is a blood pressure killer, and a few minutes of calm breathing pairs perfectly with your tea or juice. Think of it as building a morning ritual that trains your body to be heart healthy all day. All right, so you want to know which one is the ultimate drink for lowering blood pressure naturally? The truth is all three, beetroot juice, green tea, and hibiscus tea are excellent. But if we had to pick the one that consistently shows the strongest, fastest results in scientific studies, it would be beetroot juice. Why? because of its immediate impact on nitric oxide levels. In as little as a few hours, beetroot juice can measurably lower blood pressure. That's faster than green tea or hibiscus tea, which are better for long-term protection. So here's the balance. Beetroot juice, quick, measurable results. Green tea, long-term heart protection. Hibiscus tea, natural medication-like effect, especially for systolic blood pressure. So let's recap. High blood pressure is the silent killer, but your daily choices matter. The top three drinks backed by science are beetroot juice, green tea, and hibiscus tea. Each one lowers blood pressure in a different way. Nitric oxide, antioxidants, ACE inhibition. When combined with healthy lifestyle habits, they're even more powerful. Imagine starting tomorrow with a glass of beetroot juice, a calm breathing session, and a heart-healthy breakfast. It's not just a routine, it's an investment in your future self. So now, which one of these drinks are you most curious to try first? Beetroot juice, green tea, or hibiscus tea? Drop your answer in the comments, I'd love to know. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Every week, I bring you nurse-approved, science-backed tips to protect your heart, prevent disease, and live longer, healthier, and stronger. And remember this, sometimes it's not about drastic changes. It's the small, daily habits, like sipping the right drink, that can change your life. Stay healthy, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next video.